Okay, for this question, we want to find the domains and ranges for these functions. And the thing to remember for a log is you cannot take a log of zero, you cannot take a log of a negative number. The range, we'll look at the graphs to get a feel for how they work, but you'll see that the ranges for a log functions typically is everything. So our first example is f of x is log base 5 of x. So I usually like to think about what this means. Let me get my, my visual. Remember though, our domain x has to be greater than zero. The argument has to be greater than zero. So our domain will be from zero to plus infinity because you cannot take a log of a negative number. You cannot take a log of zero. If we want to graph this, y is log base five of x. I like to write the log on the left log base five of x equals y, circle the base, five to the y equals x. And then I make a chart. And I see what kind of y values I get for my range. If y is zero, x is five to the zero is one. If y is one, x is five to the one, which is five. If y is two, x is five to the two which is 25. So it looks like it's going to grow as fast as I want. If y is negative 1, x is 5 to the negative 1, which is 1 fifth. If y is negative 2, x is 5 to the negative 2, which is 1 25th. So it looks like they're getting close to 0. It looks like they're growing. So my domain from 0 to infinity seems reasonable. How about my range? Well, I'm just plugging y into 5 to the y, and everything is fair. So it sure looks like my range is going to be everything. It looks like my range will be all reals, which in interval notation is minus infinity to plus infinity. Let's take a look at the graph and see if that indeed is the case. So we'll go to Desmos. We have one zero is our first point. And then we have five one. And then we have 25, 2, which you're not going to see 25, 2, right? That's going to be way off the screen here. There's 25, 2. Then we have 1 fifth negative 1. And 1 25th negative 2. So there's our graph. Domain looks like you can't go to zero, you can't go below zero. Range though looks like it can be everything. We can actually graph this on Desmos. We can connect the, connect the dots. F of X is log base five, that's shift underscore log base five of X. And I need an equal sign in there. And I lost it. There we go. And sure enough, domain from zero to infinity, not including zero, but range, it gets as low as you want and it will get as high as you want. It'll take a long time to get there, but the range indeed is all real numbers. So we are correct with this as our domain and this is our range from looking at the problem. All right, our next question is log base seven of three X plus five. of x is log base 7 of 3x plus 5. So you've seen how the log functions behave. So let's just function, focus on the domain and range. Remember, the argument of the function cannot be 0, cannot be negative. 3x plus 5 has to be greater than 0. So what do we get? 3x plus 5 equals 0. 3x is negative 5. x is negative 5 thirds. And we've got to be bigger than that, right? So x is bigger than negative 5 thirds will be my domain. So what is that in terms of interval notation? Round bracket again, because you can't have a 0. Negative 5 thirds to plus infinity will be my domain. My range could be anything. Typically for log functions, that's our range. Let's go back to Desmos. Let's look at the graph and see what we get. 
So again, we believe the domain is from negative 5 thirds to infinity log base 7, shift underscore, log base 7 of 3x plus 5. Is it bigger than negative 5 thirds? So where does x equal negative 5 thirds? That should be the vertical asymptote. And that looks pretty good, right? We never get to negative 5 thirds, we get close. So the domain is bigger than negative 5 thirds, but it goes forever beyond that, negative 5 thirds to infinity range. You can certainly see the y values, right? The y values go down as far as you want them to go. Uh, they go up as far as you want them to go, but it takes a real long time. So that reinforces our answer that our domain from negative 5 thirds to infinity and our range from negative infinity to infinity. Okay, our next question is, h of x is log base 2 of negative x. A couple ways we could do this. h of x is log base 2 of negative x. You can see that that's a reflection of log base 2 of x through the y-axis. Okay, but I'll go ahead and I will think about this from the perspective that you cannot take a log of a negative number. So whatever the argument is, it's got to be bigger than zero. Negative x has got to be bigger than zero, which means x has got to be less than zero. So our domain here will be from negative infinity to zero, not including zero because you cannot take the log of zero. The range again is everything. Range should be from minus infinity to plus infinity. Let's look at the graph and see if that's the case. H of x is log base two of negative x. h of x is log base 2 of negative x. And there you go. We said the domain was all the negative numbers until you get to 0, but not including 0. That looks pretty good. And our range is supposed to be all the negative numbers and all the positive numbers. Again, it, you may not believe that the function will ever get to 6, but it will eventually if you give it enough time to get there. So that reinforces our notion that the domain negative infinity to zero and the range negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, we have one more question. Now notice this is not a log, this is an exponential. So just to see how they differ, we have k of x is two to the x plus three minus eight. So if I am doing this, what am I gonna think about? Well, I can plug anything in I want for x. So the domain will be everything. The range, well, that may take a little bit of work. So if I'm gonna graph this, I'm gonna first graph or look at f of x equals two to the x, and then I will go ahead and do a transformation. So if I have x and I have f of x is two to the x, x is zero, two to the zero is one, one, two to the one is two, two, two to the two is four, three, two to the third is eight, negative one, two to the negative one is a half, negative two, two to the negative two is one over two squared, which is a quarter, two to the negative three, one over two to the third, which is an eighth, so we'll go ahead and we'll quickly put all of those points in on Desmos and we'll see what we get there. So pulling up Desmos again, get rid of that. What are our points? Zero, one, one, two, zero, one, one, two, two, four, three, eight, two, four, eight. Those are all the points that start with integers. My fraction number is negative one half. Negative two a quarter. Negative three and eighth. Negative 
And I'll make them all the same color, make them all blue, I guess. So that's f of x is 2 to the x. Now, what do I want? What do I want? Which I can actually draw the function in y equals 2 or f of x equals 2 to the x. There it is. Make it blue. So blue points, blue graph, f of x is 2 to the x. Now, what did I want to have? So notice this range is above 0. Now, the question has me do what? It has me do 2 to the x plus 3 minus 8. So if f of x is 2 to the x, and I want to get 2 to the x plus 3 minus 8, k of x is 2 to the x plus 3 minus 8. k of x is f of x plus 3 minus 8. So shift left 3, shift down 8. So if I go back to my graph, if I shift everything down 8, that should tell you what the range is going to be. But we'll just go ahead and do it. Shift everything to the left 3. Shift everything to the left 3. I'll do that first. Shift everything to the left 3. You see what we're doing? Shift it to the left 3. So you see my original graph there, all the points shifted to the left 3. Now I'm going to shift everything down 8. So in the y value, subtract 8. We see those, and then shift all these guys down eight. So there's our function. What was it? That was f of x plus three minus eight. Y equals f of x plus three minus eight. It's now the black function. So domain is still everything. Range from negative infinity. Check that range from negative 8 to infinity. The lowest the y value gets is negative 8. Right, and it grows as high as you want it to grow. Domain is everything. Range negative 8 to infinity. So domain of k of x, as we thought, because you can plug anything in, 2 to the x plus 3 minus 8. Domain is all reals. Negative infinity to infinity. Range, it shifted the whole thing down 8. Never quite gets to negative 8. Domain of k of x, y is greater than negative 8. Never actually landed on negative 8, as you can see again, right? Gets really close to negative 8, but never actually gets to negative 8. So it is going to go from negative 8 to infinity is the range of that function. That is not a log function, that's an exponential function.